Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Saber Fire 4, and today we're going to be looking at the new Dawn Fan from Vivid Voltage. So this is an amazing Stage 1. It's probably, I can't even remember the last time we had a regular Pokemon that is actually meeting expectations in my opinion. That's actually very, very good and very competitive. So this card, Dawn Fan, 150 HP, Earthquake, uh, does 120 damage, and it's going to hit all of your bench Pokemon for 20 damage too, but it works with one freaking energy, making this an incredible attack. So it's a throwback to Dawn Fan Prime, a card that was actually extremely competitive and extremely good during its time, really revolutionized um, what it meant to have like a fast, strong attack, like the damage you can do with just one attack. It did 60 for one. Uh, this one does 120 for one, uh, twice the amount. But hey, it's a different era. A lot of years have passed since then. So this Pokemon is pretty much amazing. I can't really say anything bad about it. Excellent HP for stage 1. This broken ass, super great attack. And to be honest, whether or not this becomes really popular, whether or not people just use it, or whatever, becomes competitive. It is very competitive in my opinion. To me, this card is basically the nail to the coffin for fighting weak Pokemon like the Picaram decks, the Lightning decks, Darkness decks, Eternatus even. Um, it just, it, it's going to destroy them. They really just, it's going to be very difficult for them to deal with this guy. Even if you have a mediocre start, like once you can start making attacks off, you're just going to be getting three prizes in one go. So he's too good. Now, originally, I wanted to show you guys this deck in standard. That's how I build it. But unfortunately, I found out that the Mew with Bench Barrier doesn't work. Like, uh, the way it's worded, it's only damage from your opponent's attacks. And we can't have that. Like I've said, this guy does 20 damage to each of your Bench Pokemon. And this is really going to add up. If you keep attacking, you're going to be killing yourself. So this is why we need a Bench Barrier Pokemon. And the only other choice is... Mr. Mime here, the fairy one, or you can use the Plasma Storm Psychic one too, if you want to use that. But essentially, we need this sort of bench barrier ability to prevent ourselves from getting all that recoil damage. So this guy prevents all damage to your bench Pokemon by attacks. That includes your recoil damage, so it's great. I thought the Mew did the same, but I guess there's a, it's worded a bit differently. And it only works from our opponent's attacks. But anyway, so I had to use this deck in Expanded. I, I wanted to use it in Standard, but I mean, we've got to use it in Expanded again. So this is going to be an extremely simple and easy to use deck. Um, just like Don Fan Prime back then, there's many ways to build that deck. You can use this guy as a tech. You can do all sorts of different things. But one of the most effective ways to use the deck is to just have it simple, speedy, as speedy as you can. This guy is the main attacker. And then a lot of trainers to sort of uh, facilitate this guy getting out and attacking. So the line is going to be quite simple. We max out the fan fee. I have this one here from Plasma Storm. Uh, it has the highest HP, 80 HP. Still has a one energy attack we can use and tackle. And it also has a lightning resistance. Now, believe it or not, I wish this guy actually had three retreat. And I do hope like they give us some sort of fan fee that has three retreat because it means that I can search both of these guys with heavy ball and we can just make the deck even more consistent but unfortunately there is no fan fee with uh, three retreat so I had to use this one is the best one you have some other options but max out your fan fee fan fee whatever and then you gotta max out the dawn fan unfortunately I only have three so as usual what I do in this case is I put like an extra stretcher as a substitute but obviously, you want to max this guy out if you can, if you have them. Um, three, I, I made the deck work with three though, so it's good enough. If I had less than three, I wouldn't show this. But it works with three too. Uh, if you do have four though, you run four. And then basically the rest is just going to be support guys. Um, the Mew, you have to run it for the bench barrier. I'm running three in this case. You're not always going to use all three, or you even want to bench all three. But you want to have enough, you know, just in case one dies, you know, they get prized. You open with it, you sort of leave it as a sacrifice. It's actually not too bad if that happens. 
Uh, it's one of the better openers in this deck. So three is a good enough number in my opinion. And like even if you don't get it out immediately, like if you hit yourself a little bit and then you get him out, it's still good enough. But three is the right number to run this guy in my opinion. Uh, then I have the two Tapu Koko. This is basically just a free retreating pivot, a good opener. Once again, I can just move this out of the way if I open it when I'm ready to attack with Don Fan. Plus, the Allure attack is actually very good. Uh, you'll be glad to use this attack sometimes. Uh, just attach an energy and draw two cards. Sometimes when you have a slow start, you don't have a supporter. You open with this card, you can use it. You know, this guy is a stage one, so you're not going to be able to immediately use him like if you play uh, second and what have you. So this guy is going to be useful with his allure attack. So two of him and then the one Deancey Prism. It sucks when you open with this Pokemon but thanks to Princess Cheers that 20 damage you do on your fighting Pokemon is just extremely good to pass up. It's going to make this guy hit for 140 for one so he can two shot Arceus even at that point and it's just extremely good. Uh, it just makes Donovan even more broken. So we have to run it. Uh, just the one prison Pokemon. So it's 10 basics. This is how I like to run uh, uh, at least 10 basics. And with the three Don fans, it becomes 13 Pokemon. So good enough. It's going to get the job done. And then we have a lot of freaking trainers, as you guys can see. A spec of choice is going to be Computer Search. Um, you can try Dowson Machine if you want. Um, anything else, I don't. I can't really recommend it. Um, we need to maximize the consistency. I mean, you could try like Gold Potion, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, even with this guy's amazing HP and some other tools we're going to use to make him even tankier, I don't feel it's worth it enough to use Gold Potion. A computer search is better. It's going to be more consistent. Uh, so this is the A spec of choice. It's the best best one you sh should run in this deck, in my opinion. Uh, then we run our four Nest Ball to search our basic Pokemon, get the Fanfies out, and get everything else that we need, like Deancey, uh, Mime, even Tapu Koko, so you can promote him every time somebody dies. So maxing this out, and then Heavy Ball, two of this. It's going to be my method to search this guy out with his four retreat. I wish, I really wish that, like I've said, this guy had free retreat. Then we would be maxing out the heavy ball and then maybe running a few less nest balls. And it would have been more consistent because this can only search Don Fan, but I need something to search him. So it is what it is. Uh, we got the double rescue stretcher. This is going to be like my recovery card. And the second one is sort of as a substitute just in case we need to like get a Don Fan instantly or something because I just have three. Uh, you guys get the idea. I've showcased this example in other deck lists when I don't have like just uh, exactly how many copies I need of a Pokemon. So whatever. Uh, double switch. It's going to be handy. Um, this guy, even though he has big retreat, we don't care. Like our opponent would be stupid to try and pull another Don Fan to get him stuck because we can just attach an energy and he's ready to go attack. So it's really mainly just for Deancey, just in case Deancey gets stuck, or I guess if somebody else gets stuck, like my man can't attach an energy, but he only has one retreat. So, I mean, it's, it's good enough. So, these are just in here as just in case you never know what's going to happen. But, um, yeah, it's mainly for Deancey, really. Um, I, I do want to have the two switches, though. So, yeah. Got the double field blower. Normally I would do one field blower, one um, megaphone, but I'm going to explain why later. It's basically the same case as the Salamence deck video, but I'll explain later why. So two of this. Uh, got the one male consistency, double via seeker. I mean, you got to have it. And I run the triple judge whistle just to draw more cards and just keep it Keep it pure like the Donovan Prime deck. It used to run the Poke Drawer plus Poke Blars, all those cards. Just item cards, draw cards, try and make it consistent. As consistent as it can be because as this is like an anti-meta rogue deck, I don't like to run stuff like Lele or Dedene or whatever. So uh, sometimes we are going to brick and it's sad. 
but it's just so that I don't give my opponent that chance to just pull the Dedene and get an easy KO. So once they get four prizes, they can just kill the Dedene and win. I don't want that. So it is what it is. You guys can build it differently if you want, but I just, it's one of my principles. Sometimes I, I sort of break that rule. There are exceptions, but for the most part, when I'm using regular anti meta Pokemon, I don't want to run two prize Pokemon. So yeah. Now, before, I didn't have the Judge Whistles, and I had one, and I had some other cards. We had a bunch of Crushing Hammers, but I had to take them out because I needed to boost the consistency of the deck. Sometimes those Crushing Hammers, they're going to win you games, I've noticed, but it's a coin flip item. Sometimes you're going to miss it. Sometimes you're going to have it when you don't need it, when you just want to see a supporter or something. So I had to take them out and put more of these I do keep the one enhanced hammer though, because it puts in the work against Arceus. Uh, in expanded, pretty much almost every deck uses uh, a lot of special energies, double dragon energies everywhere. So this is going to put in the work against them. If we see it, we can search it with Corina or what have you. It's going to be really good. Um, at the end of the day, if you can't use it, it's just one card. We can just discard it or something. So I decided to keep this in, it's, it's auto discard, it's not a coin flip, so um, kind of too good to pass up, oh, why not run it since I can sort of afford it in a way. Okay, now I think that's for all the items, we have uh, our tool as well, can't forget about that. I'm running buff padding in this deck as opposed to something like muscle band or choice band. I feel like I could get in that 50 HP. Uh, in conjunction with the stone energy, it just synergizes very well. It's going to make Don Fan even tankier. And if he, if he can even take a hit and just make two attacks, he becomes even crazier good. He becomes even crazier. So I'd rather have this than something like Muscle Band. Although Muscle Band is good, of course, too. Uh, if you don't know what it does, uh, if, if the Pokemon has exactly four retreat, you gain 50 HP. So that's really good. So that's the plan. It's going to make him 200. And with the stone energy, uh, they need to do like 220 to kill him. So it's good. And these are basically all of the items. Now we're going to look at the stadiums. Brooklyn Heal. Search your fighting Pokemon. Once again, Consistency Booster is an excellent card. Run it. I decided instead of doing two, I do one Parallel City. Because this can... This can annoy opponents, um, people that use Skyfield, people that use Eternatus. Um, at the end of the day, this deck is all about pressuring and uh, disrupting your opponent. So this this can also be very good uh, with Don Fan. So I decided to try it out, just one of each. If you want to do double Brooklyn Heal, then you can do that. And just like with Salamence... Um, we got to run this sort of power plant as a sort of a tech stadium. Now, if you go down, you're going to see that nearly all of my energies are special energies. Uh, it's this strong energy and the stone energy. Uh, we run them because they're great, of course. Uh, strong energy, if you've been playing for a while, you know how good this card is. Basically, 20 more damage on fighting Pokemon. It's going to make Donphan even stronger. So, obviously, I got to run it. Stone Energy is just as good. It's going to block damage, 20 damage. And like I've already mentioned, it pairs well with this too. So it's good. Sometimes you're going to be attaching multiple energies on Don Fan. And he just makes him even more of a beast. So these cards are too good to pass up to just drop them. So I have him in 8 special energies. And we don't care about Enhanced Hammer. We can just attach another energy. It's simple it's not like salamence but we still have the problem against um aegislash and exurgatory if anybody plays those so this is going to shut them down and we don't have to use silent lab like with salamence because we don't use any gx abilities here what have you so it's even better because we can use this as a counter stadium to silent lab in expanded against like ultra and Crossma. So, you really have nothing to lose and everything to gain by using this card. So, that's why I have two copies, just in case. 
Now, another thing that I found out, um, and I forgot to mention this in Solomon's, but it's because I, I never played against it, but Honchkrow, Honchkrow GX is a problem. Um, that card sees decent play as a good anti-meta deck in a way against uh, Arceus and Alternate Crossma. It does a lot of things that locks those deck out. And it actually fucks with us too because I have all these special energies. I do have two basic energies that we can use to attack the Honchkrow and maybe we can kill it since they leave it on their own most of the time. It did happen to me. I did beat a Honchkrow deck. But I've also found out that this deck is kind of going to struggle against it, um, unfortunately. Um, it's just annoying. You can't even play it. Like, this, once they evolve, it blocks stadiums too, his ability. So it's going to be rough, but it's one bad matchup. You can't really do much. Um, to sacrifice these special energies sucks in all other matchups. So... I didn't want to do that. But basically, this is how it is. 10 energies. Um, it's all you need. I don't even have a way to search energies because we have so few. I decided not to use Energy Lotto. And we can't use Professor's Letter since we only have two basics. So, no energy searching. But you should be good with the energies either way. And the last thing to mention is the supporters, of course. Um, run the 4 Cynthia, run the 1N, the 1 Chorus, since it is expanded. I mean, I say this, but all of these cards are in expanded, even her now. Uh, 1 Juniper, we really don't want to discard, we want to keep our Stage 1s and resources. So once again, just 1. I do the 1 Skyla, and we also do the 1 Corina, since this is a straight fighting deck. This is essentially going to get me a fighting Pokemon and an item, so it's like a better Skylar in this case. But I still want to run the Skylar because she can get me a Stadium or even a Supporter. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. And then the one Erica for an additional Supporter that's hopefully going to give me cards. Uh, we need to have a, a decent amount of Supporters because, like I've said, we don't have any Dedenes, no Crobats, no um, uh, Tapuleles, so gotta do what I gotta do I don't want to run random receiver because we are running the boss's orders and it's always gonna suck when you use random receiver and get this guy but I guess if you wanna drop some whistles and put random receiver you can try that and this is the deck it's very simple it's very easy to use it's very effective it has a lot of amazing matchups that you're gonna wreck them very very easily anything weak to fighting this guy's gonna wreck really hard um, I guess Eternatus can sort of uh, hang on a little bit because they run the weakness guard energy. But it's not really going to be too great. Um, stuff like Picaram, like that guy, even if they use the that weakness guard energy, he can still two-shot them uh, because he does so much damage. And like it's not going to save them. It's going to maybe help them a little bit, but it's not going to be enough to save them. So, this is great. The alternate cross on matchup is very, very fair, if not favorable completely. So, this is great. Just any other, like, slow Pokemon or just uh, energy acceleration decks, you're going to really fuck them up hard. Arceus. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Obviously, Arceus is the best deck in Expanded right now. It's just too damn good. Oh, my God. I can't wait for fucking... Uh, Shaman to go away. I mean, mainly for other decks, but that deck is just too good. Zacian Arceus is basically the deck to beat. But you can believe, you can just think I'm, uh, you can think I'm crazy when I say this, but the matchup can be good. Like, if you get a good start with Don Fan, if you see like your enhanced Samurai, you discard their double dragon energy. Like, if they don't get uh, going, or if you just if you just have, if a lot of things go your way, it can beat Arceus and Zacian, like definitely. I've done it. Uh, I've lost a lot of times against the two. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but if a lot of things go your way, you can beat that deck. It's possible. Okay. Um, so it's it's good that you have this sort of a chance. It's not an auto loss like with other 
stage two and stage one decks. And honestly, um, this is just one of the best regular Pokemon we've had in a long time. It's actually quite competitive in my opinion. So this is the deck, guys. Uh, I've getting the private trades from somebody, it seems. But I'm going to show you guys matches, of course. It's really fun. It's really easy to use, like for a beginner or what have you. And like I've said, it's going to destroy a lot of decks and expand it very easily. A lot of the times, they're just going to scoop within two minutes because they won't be able to do shit. Like once you get like a big knockout on attack team or whatever, what the fuck are they going to do? It's just an instant win. So, yeah. So, Don Fan, excellent. It'd be nice if we could have used this in Standard 2, but unfortunately, we can't use Mew with him. But I'm going to show you guys matches and expand it. should be good either way. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you guys with the matches. Look forward to them. Say, Bo, Final Four. What's say?